Hey, hey, country view. This is your wildcat. Welcome for Wednesday, April 5th. And a happy birthday to Riley V in third grade. Whoop! Happy, happy birthday, birthday on a wildcat Wednesday. Do you know what I got to do last week? What? I got to go in and do an old kindergarten room and they wanted me to do the old wiggle. So they love the wiggle. So I was thinking we could wiggle Let's it out wiggle today. It out. Are yeah. we ready? I'm ready. All right, here okay. we go. Wildcat wiggle! That's for you, kindergartners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our focus, it's a new month, you know. It sure is. April. I'm having a hard time saying April. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. April. Our focus this month is I am a learner. One of the best ways to go into this month because it's testing season. It is. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I want people to do is take a deep breath. Ready? The only reason we do testing here at Country View is to show how genius we are. Don't stress out. Like I used to get nervous mm -hmm. and though, like there's no reason to, that was a waste of my nerves, right? And we've been trying to change our mindset into a positive mindset saying you get to take this test and you get to show what you know. So think about that. If you get the honor of taking an assessment, mm -hmm. yeah. Think about, you know so much, and this is your opportunity to show off your genius. Mm -hmm. And if you are a student who is not taking a test during these times, being mindful that others are testing and being quiet in the halls and kind of being compassionate towards others will help them be better learners. Mm -hmm. Like this is the time of year why we have practiced voice level of zero. Mm -hmm. Voice level of zero when you're putting on a jacket, voice level of zero if you're putting on your rain boots, voice level of zero when we're walking in the hall because we have so many scholars in this building right now needing that quietness in order to show off their geniusness. Yep, yep. So remember that as you're walking through the halls. Okay. All right, so today mm -hmm. I'm going to honor something that happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, April 4th in um, the history of black history, mm -hmm. MLK was assassinated in 1969. This was an extremely sad day and is still a sad day if you think about mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. um, where the world was in mourning together. Mm -hmm. um, so the book that we're featuring today to honor this is Memphis, Martin, and the Mountaintop, The Sanitations Strike of 1968. And the author of this book is Alice Bate Duncan. So this is a picture book and it tells the story of a nine-year-old girl who in 1968 witnessed the Memphis Sanitation Strike. Um, it was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s final stand for justice before his assassination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you ever have the opportunity to go to the MLK Museum in Memphis, there is an entire area around the sanitation strike, and this book is featured in that area. Oh, well, if you ever have that opportunity, go, or like you can take museum walks on the internet. Mm -hmm. I would suggest checking out this museum because the power mm -hmm. in all of the words that were spoken during 1968 around the strike is incredible. Yeah, I think everyone should read this book. Absolutely, mm -hmm. check it out. I think we have it in our library. I think so too, yep. Check it out, scholars. Well, I'm Miss Bean. And I'm Miss Rush Hour. Make it a wacky wildcat Wednesday. And we'll see you at our next wildcat welcome.